Gainwell between the tackles and just about a foot short of the end zone. This is the versatility we talked about, right? We see him out as a slot receiver. We see him motioning out. Now he's running between the tackles as a feature running back. Good start for Gainwell. Under center now, White. First carry to Gainwell, running left, makes a cut. And the ex-high school quarterback who's Mr. Everything for this Memphis offense gets out of the red zone. And he's back in shotgun. He, we showed you in the open how he sees blitz. He senses it. He gets under. See the blitz coming from the right? He's just going to run the ball away from that pressure where he's got the numbers and the leverage with the blocking angles. And he picks up a first down and a nice game. Good awareness there by Brady White. Gain well. Same thing. Break free. Step on. Score standing up and Memphis answers. The dynamic freshman. 15th touchdown this season for Gainwell. Hey man, we're kind of kidding there about 94 leading the way. It, it's not a joke. Dorcius at 265, 270 pounds. Watch 94's block. Oh, I mean, he just opens that, that hole up on the outside. And poor Robert Hayes, the corner seven. He did not mean that. Opens it up. And that felt really good. He was pleased with himself. Oh, with yeah. Block, oh, are you kidding me? Those big linemen to come, defense alignment to come in as a fullback, that's a dream shot right Touch there. Touch for Hayes. He had the pass interference, and he got trucked on the touchdown. Seven apiece in Memphis. Gainwell on second down. Has running room. Inside the 10. Still going. Touchdown. Kenny Gainwell. This kid is for real. Gainwell, watch the power on this throw. It's, it starts with the patience. And when he gets in behind those, those blockers, you can't see him. You can't spot him from the second level. And then he's so fast when he comes out. But did you see the determination on the back end of that run? He nearly drug defenders into the end zone with him and then took a shot and still didn't fall. Gainwell, boy, he's got it. Oh, that was That's, That's your warning. warning. That's your warning. Screen game is fantastic for Memphis. Gainwell is tremendous in it himself, and he's got a first down Tigers. Well, you know, we started telling you how exciting he is, and people think run game only with him. But look, you split him out as a receiver. He's got great running skills, and he's a tough matchup problem. And Cincinnati is finding that out. Brady White is split out right now at the bottom of your screen. They're going to run Wildcat here. Gainwell will take the snap. It's a lead play, and he's going to lead it all the way inside the 10. Uh, Forrest had to take him down. What a alignment mistake by Cincinnati. They were short on that right side. Look at that. They don't have an edge player. They have nobody to turn it back in until you get to the safety out there. That is a mistake, and alignment has to be because they were outnumbered, outmanned. Second and six for Memphis in a three-point game. Gainwell, fearing for a huge Memphis first down. Knight gives it back and gets it back. First down Memphis for the second time. White to Gainwell, out of the backfield. Inside the 10, Gainwell to the end zone. He's in! coverage beaters you get wheel routes you get slants and goes you get picks you get rubs that time it was a perfect play call keys the cornerback for Tulane never came off never saw the back coming out of the backfield and that's an easy pitch and catch for Brady White Tulane showing blitz here it comes white clean pocket downfield it's caught Gainwell again, leading the conference in all-purpose yards. And Mike Norvell told us last week, if you just turned him into a wide receiver, he'll probably be the best wideout on this team. He's the most gifted athlete that head coach Mike Norvell has been around in his time as a coach. That's saying something. Gibson in motion. Gainwell. 
as the 30 accelerates inside the 20. He's been one of the most productive running backs in the country. Give him 18 more. And it's first down and 10. He just has another gear. When he gets in the open field, if you've got a fast guy, he's going to be faster. You have, you have to make Memphis settle for a field goal opportunity. Tigers running a little bit of clock. They'll keep it on the ground again. And how about the power running of Memphis all the way down to the two-yard line. It's Gainwell. The balance of running and passing tonight from the Tigers on offense has really kept Tulane in that aggressive defense off balance. You get Gainwell and Watkins coming at you, and then you have the consistency of Brady White down the field. It's tough to defend. They got big old Dorseyus in there to block. Gainwell will take the direct snap. Behind the D lineman, turn fullback. Gainwell into the end zone. White to the air, and that's caught. Gainwell shedding tacklers, still on his feet. Gainwell down inside the 15. That's a running back, folks. You want a start of a complete game in the second half? That's exactly what Memphis did on offense. Great back shoulder throw to hold Gainwell because he had two defenders closing in on him. And then the presence to keep his balance and sprint down the, the two-lane sideline for a huge play. Hey, Brady White's been the uh, GOAT GOAT tonight. <laughs> what a bounce back game after four turnovers a week ago. He's got four TD passes. 17 out of 23, almost 300 yards. Low snap. White has Gainwell. Sheds a tackler. What else is new? Gainwell to midfield, changing directions. And a little turbo boost to finish the run. 38 more yards through the air. He's got more than 160 yards receiving tonight. Gainwell is such a good open field runner because of his change of direction. He has the awareness to keep people away from him. And Brady White is having some kind of night. They're looking for Gainwell. He makes the catch. Unbelievable. And Waltz is into the end zone. I think they heard. I think they knew what he needed. And that's a 27-yard catch. He needed 24, John. So he becomes the first player in the FBS since 97 to rush for 100 and have 200 receiving in the same game. Coach, if you can hear me down there, that was a great call. <laughs> Get Gainwell the football in the passing game. Just a terrific job of a, another back shoulder throw that he adjusts to, makes somebody miss, and then finds his way into the end zone. So when you go across the middle, you know you're going to face contact. Coach, he's such a tough player coming up with a big play. Gainwell into space, inside the 10, inside the 5, touchdown Tigers! <laughs> 46 yards for Kenneth Gainwell. And Gainwell showing off how explosive he can be. Look at him just kind of read, relax here, wait for the hole to develop, and then boom, hitting it, getting to the outside. No one's going to catch him right up the middle and try to force Southern to stop him. Third down from the one. Gainwell, crease into the end zone for the Tiger touchdown. They're doing a great job in the third phase of the ball game, really starring. Play fake to Gainwell. White throws it back. Gainwell, touchdown, Tigers! Close one. I think Very it's a close. touchdown. All you have to do is break the plane. Yep. 
It I looked think he's like got he had it. possession in that left hand, yep. and then the ground caused the fumble, but he had already broken the plane as a runner, so that should be confirmed as a touchdown. So Navy marches down the field 75 yards in five minutes. Kenneth Gainwell goes 75 yards in 12 seconds. And Riley Patterson ties this game seven up. Oakland, Tampa Bay battling for the AL wildcard slots and for home field in the AL wildcard game exclusively here on ESPN next Wednesday. There goes Kenneth Gainwell. He's already busted a couple of big ones, including a 75-yard touchdown tonight. He'll pick up 16 on that run before Tuatelli drive him down.